Hey everybody. I've seen a lot of questions on the RV social media groups that I'm on lately about working from your RV. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of how my husband and I, who do both still work remotely in our RV, I wanted to show you what our setup's like, uh, just to give you a little look at how we are effectively working, two working adults from a single RV. Our RV is the Jayco Eagle 355 MBQS, and that's a fifth wheel. And one of the reasons that we chose this particular model was because it does have a mid bunk room. And this bunk room, we got it for two purposes. One, we have little grandchildren who like to go with us on occasion. And so this room serves as a bedroom for them when they're here. There is a sofa that makes into a bed, and then there's also a bunk above the sofa. But the primary function for this room is an office. And this is my particular setup. So I work a job where I have uh, about six to seven meetings a day. And so I'm talking with people and those obviously are video meetings. So I needed a private room where I could shut the door, have my meetings, not drive my husband crazy. So this is my setup. We have done my second monitor um, is simply mounted to the wall. This allowed for a wall mount TV, but I use my large monitor on that space. Then I have have my uh, laptop set up here. I do have that sitting on top of a little metal shelf and um, that gives me, raises it up a little. I do have an external a keyboard that allows me a larger keyboard to work with. Um, I could, I have this camera right here and it will clip or attach to the top of my monitor. That's actually how it's designed, but um, it gives a really downward view, which is not incredibly attractive. So I actually just put it right here. It sits, it's more at eye level and I position it so that uh, this backdrop is behind me for every meeting that I do. Uh, the nice thing about this this particular space is that I can use it as my workspace. I can close the door when the day is over and not have to deal with it. It does have a built-in desk here, so all of my office needs are there. And when we travel, that laptop and the little stand that it sits on just folds up and goes right down underneath the desk. The other thing that I do is our, we have a freestanding table. Two of those chairs stay up all the time and actually attach to the floor when we're traveling, but there are two additional chairs chairs that fold up. This is one of them. They store easily under our bed, but I use this one as my desk chair most of the time. Now we're going to take a look at my husband's setup. Now, before you all start feeling sorry for him and going, oh my gosh, she gets a whole office and he just gets this uh, folding table. Keep in mind, my husband loves this setup because first of all, we have windows throughout our RV. So my husband can kind of keep an eye on what's going on around him, which he loves to do. But he also has this TV close by as well. So it's not exactly a hardship case, but uh, this is just a folding lightweight table. We actually got it at Camping World when we bought our RV. My husband has a, um, a second monitor on that. He has his um, laptop. He does not prefer a second keyboard, so he just uses that one. Plenty of room for his mouse, and he just sits right here on the sofa and works from here. It gives him separation from me while he's working, but it also gives him comfort. He's out here with everything he needs. Um, there are plenty of plugins, so he just plugs in right here. And then at the end of the day, he just picks up this entire table. It's lightweight. He just carries it into the office that I use, and it just sits in there freestanding whenever he's not using it. So the most important thing when you are working remotely from your RV is having reliable internet access. So my husband and I have sort of this multi-directional approach to ensure that we can have consistent and reliable access. The first thing is that I have an AT&T hotspot. Uh, we used this primarily with our uh, former RV before we were full timers and we never had any issues with it. So it worked great. Now my husband also has a um, cell phone through Verizon and that cell phone also is a hotspot so we can also use his 
if for whatever reason our AT&T service is not incredibly strong. And then the third and probably most important thing is this right here. So when we purchased our RV, it was already set up with WineGuard um, power boosting or signal boosting uh, on the roof of our RV. So we did have to buy this box that you see here. We bought it off of Amazon and this is a, um, a router. So this will pull in the signal from any Wi-Fi signal that's around. So we were using the campground Wi-Fi over um, the last few days and it worked great, no problem. It boosts that signal coming in from the campground Wi-Fi. And we actually used that and both of us worked off of it, no problem. Yesterday, it started getting a little weaker. I don't know if more people were using it and that was sort of downgrading the signal capabilities. But when that happened, we just simply went from the campground Wi-Fi to having it boost my AT&T Wi-Fi. And so ever since then, my husband and I have been using the AT&T Wi-Fi that's being boosted by the white guard that's on our ceiling and everything's gone great. So I mentioned we have AT&T with my hotspot. My husband's phone is a Verizon hotspot. And then the last thing, we haven't done it yet, but our next um, sort of third layer of uh, insurance, if you will, in the Wi-Fi area is that WineGuard actually sells a chip that you can put into their, um, into their booster that would give us a third option, which is the WineGuard option. So we're planning to do that probably in the next two months. Uh, that way, no matter where we are, we should be able to have reliable internet. So that's just a really quick look at how we're working remotely from our RV. And I have to tell you, we've only been full time for about a month and a half, but we were uh, all but full time for several months during the winter in our former um, RV. And we used these very same tools. We didn't have the wine guard in the other one, but we had my hotspot, my husband's cell phone hotspot, and then between that and using campground Wi-Fi, we never had a single hour of work where we were incapable of doing our jobs. We had reliable um, internet with those um, options. So it can be done if you're debating, can I work from um, a remote location, an RV or can't I? As long as your job allows you to work remotely, believe me, there are a lot of options out there for ways that you can have reliable internet and this is just one of them. And uh, we are Hendrick, home on the highway.com. That's our website. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Hendrick Home on the Highway. And uh, like always, please uh, follow, like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're just trying to make this RV life very real for people, just sharing our experiences. They're the types of things that we might wanna know if we were starting fresh and thought you might too. So stay with us on this journey and like always, we'll see you down the highway.